Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kryptonic and today we're taking a look at Toner's TC777 condenser microphone. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it and let me know what you're currently using and if you guys are looking at this microphone as a potential upgrade. Anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoy. Today's sponsor of the day is Manscaped. You guys can actually see it right here. And I know it sounds a little bit weird, but your boy actually did work with Manscaped because I think that their Lawnmower 2.0 is really, really good for any type of body hair that you guys might have. And now you guys might be thinking, well, you know, baby face cryptonic, like, what do you need it for? And the thing is, I actually get scruffy all the time. And the Lawnmower 2.0 does such a good job of just trimming because right now I'm clean shaved and it takes forever to get to this like look anyways guys check out the lawnmower 2.0 down below if you guys are interested in taking care of your bodily needs Alrighty, like i said we're taking a look at toner's cute little box microphone i love the way this microphone came packaged everything about it just screamed really just minimalism and i really really love that about toner this is a condenser microphone and in the box you will literally just find the most basic but things that will get you started so it comes of the little tripod a little pop filter and of course the microphone and that's all you need to start streaming and that's insane just because the biggest competitor i can think of for that price range is something like the fifine mic or something like the blue snowball and the blue snowball being the oldest of all those mics didn't even come with a pop filter and the stand that it did come with was pretty flimsy all these companies have just been able to catch up when it comes to producing high audio quality microphones which is great because i just oh everything about microphones is something i love right now i'm using the rode pod mic and it took me about three months to get this microphone and you guys are just going to be basically comparing it to the toner mic today because that's all i have in comparison and now the biggest difference between this microphone and the toner microphone is that this is a dynamic microphone so basically right now i'm going to let you guys listen to the audio of the microphone so that you guys can compare for yourselves and listen to yourselves in comparison to this rode pod mic this microphone costs around a hundred dollars but it's been sold out everywhere because it's just that good i know road making insane microphones as always and yeah i'm just gonna let you guys listen to that and uh, see what it sounds like basically and now through the power of the internet you guys are actually able to hear what i'm saying and this is all coming through the tc 777 i love that name don't you guys love the name i love everything about this little microphone i just think it's a very good option but i would definitely recommend getting some sort of boom arm for this microphone because as you guys can see from this angle no one likes to talk at this close to their desk and yeah of course you can talk a little bit further but if you guys truly understand audio then you guys would know that the closer you are to it not necessarily too close but just being closer to your microphone prevents a lot of background noise so if i just like stop talking right now you guys are going to be able to hear kind of what's around my environment And while it's not a lot of background noise that the microphone picks up, it's a decent amount that could easily be preventable. But I do love the fact that it comes with two pop filters on it, meaning that not only do you have one protection for wind and noise and things like that, but you have two, which makes it even that much better. But like I said, look at this angle, but also look at my keyboard. But look at this angle that I'm at. Having just a very small tripod is a good option to have to start off if you don't have anything immediately. But I would suggest even getting like a $10 boom arm would change just the entire playing field of this microphone. And now for this little next segment is is just going to be me modifying my voice through adding some effects basically what I do to my regular audio and this is going to be basically just regular effects. so this is what the microphone sounds like with a little bit of post-processing work that being just bass boost treble limiter noise reduction normalizer just you know the basic editing things you would do to audio and i think that the microphone can definitely sound really good if you just get up close to it and you know just edit it a little bit more than you would with anything else 
So as you guys heard, this microphone definitely doesn't sound bad for the price that it's in. $40 gets you a lot these days, which is, is crazy to just think about. That $40 can get you a microphone that sounds this good on Amazon shipped to your door. And it's basically a starter kit. You get the whole package. When do you ever get the whole package for under $50, which I think is crazy. And yeah, it's a USB microphone. So that cord is something that I'm a little worried about. It doesn't seem like it'll rip or take hair or anything but the fact that it's just kind of connected to the microphone at all times and you can't detach it or swap it out for anything else does kind of worry me because with like xlr cables like with this microphone i could just yank out the cable buy a ten dollar cable and i'm good and these cables last forever that's the same thing that i'd be able to do with a yeti or a snowball or anything like that but with this microphone you can't do that so that kind of throws a question in there of like what if something happens to the cable but the mic is fine then the whole microphone is sort of destroyed at that point so that's really my only point of concern because besides that this microphone is just really really good for $40 and now there are some parts where it does sound a little bit muddy to my ears but it doesn't really sound bad enough to the point where if you just spent like two three minutes in any audio editing program you could fix that up and now if you guys aren't subbed make sure to do that because I love reviewing things and letting you guys know what it's best for your price budget and of course like I said this microphone if you guys are interested I will be leaving a link down below so you guys can check it out even the reviews on amazon speak for themselves everyone really loves a good friendly budget microphone and that's not something i can disagree with i feel like audio equipment nowadays gets really pricey for no reason they all kind of sound the same so the fact that you're getting a pretty neat package here for 40 dollars you're not having to go out of your way to buy an xlr cable an xlr thing to get good audio quality you can get it for a reasonable amount with a usb microphone Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do, remember to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what microphone you guys are currently using. And that's really about it. Make sure to stick around. Catch me on Twitch if you guys ever want to chat with me. Ask me anything. And I will catch you guys later. Peace, guys.